What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Chris Tunes here. Today I got something really cool going. So, I did this pencil drawing earlier today. I just wanted to draw this cool young woman, baggy pants, big shoes, kind of Bratz doll looking. Um, I guess that was kind of the inspiration for this character, but um, anyways, just like a college girl or something like that. So, this is a pencil drawing. What I want to do is take this from just a pencil drawing to a fully colored illustration. And I'm not going to be doing this digitally. Right now I'm using Photoshop just for the sake of sizing this drawing up. Because the, the, the first drawing was about that small on a regular sheet of paper. But um, on Photoshop it's cool because you can always size things up, size them down, whatever. So I'm going to be tracing this drawing. First I'm going to print it, then I'm going to trace it going to transfer that onto a new sheet of paper and from there I'm going to essentially draw this character again and add color um, so I'm going to use Prismacolor markers some Copic markers some colored pencil it's going to be fun so I hope you guys like the video please drop a like down below so I can keep making content like this for you guys it'll kind of push me up more on the algorithm we all know how that goes so Definitely like, subscribe if you like this type of content. Check out my other videos and let's get into the video.
All right, so the drawing's finally finished. It actually didn't take too long. I completed it within a few hours in a day. And I love how it came out. I mean, her shoes are a little scuffed up, kind of worn. The jeans came out really nice, the folds, her nails, her hands, the phone, did a couple apps there. Her skin, I mean, I really, really like how the skin came out, her eyes. And the, the stars and the hearts, it all came out really nice. So I'm, I'm happy with the final result here. I wanted to show you guys the uh, materials that I was using. So anytime you guys are using markers and colored pencils, you always want to do marker before colored pencil. Just a little uh, rule of thumb there. But uh, I use Prismacolor colored pencils. Make sure they're, they're, they're sharpened really fine. Um, so yeah, we got Prismacolor colored pencils. And then I use a variety of different markers. So of course I got Copic markers. And then um, I have Prismacolor as well. And then a brand that's actually really nice are the Artist Loft, or my bad, the Master's Touch from Hobby Lobby. Those work out pretty well, and they have a, a lot of different colors to choose from. So here I have a bunch of other markers. I don't use as often as I should. One thing I wanted to point out is I usually outline my drawings with um, some kind of fine liner, and this one's usually my go-to as well as the microns. But in this video, I wanted to try something different out. Um, hence why I used colored pencil on top of the marker. And I think the results are really nice. As you can see, a lot of those outlines are done with colored pencil and nothing's too harsh. There's not a lot of black that you guys will see here. So there's a little bit of black under there. Even her eyelashes, I started off by using brown. And the reason I did that is because anytime you use black, your attention will immediately go to that thing. So if there was black outlines on her entire body, then it would have been a different illustration completely. And in this case, I used, you know, red outlines for the hearts, and then I left her hair brown. And, you know, I gave her like some little diamond diamond earrings, the stars. I did use a black outline on the phone, um, but that's okay. I, I, I used it very subtly. And because of that, I think the illustration came out really nice. Here, where's the, where's the old one? So yeah, that's what we started with. Right, you guys saw the whole process, how I traced it over, brought it over, and then boom, finished with this, so. Really nice. Didn't wanna throw in too many crazy colors. And then even the, the, the idea for the cell phone, um, I knew she'd be holding that cell phone, obviously, but I had the option to make it black or white, whatever, but not show anything on the screen, but um, I figured I'd put a couple apps there and I think that would just make the illustration more appealing, right? The point was to throw some color in on this. So we did that. Um, anyways, if you guys like this video, definitely drop a like down below. I want to get a lot more active with this channel. So I'm going to aim to post twice a week, Mondays and Fridays as of now. I hope I can stick to that schedule. Um, but yeah, guys, expect some cool art, expect some, you know, different kinds of videos. And yeah, again, drop a like, share this with a friend. Um, try some of these markers out. I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description below. So if you guys want to try out some Copic markers or some colored pencils, uh, I'll leave affiliate links to the Amazon uh, website. That way you guys could try some of these materials out for yourselves. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace. What's up guys? So a little extra I wanted to add in the end of this video. 
is <clears throat> you guys saw the finished illustration. I had that scanned and I manipulated that further on Photoshop. So what I was able to do, <clears throat> and that's pretty much the goal of what I'm doing with these series of characters that I'm gonna start posting is <clears throat> making trading cards, making my own custom trading cards, like, you know, Garbage Pail Kids or, or kind of the Topps Chrome style of, of cards. I've always liked the holographic effects on the artworks and anyway, so look, here I have, that looks a little messed up there, but transparent sheet. I'm not gonna get too into the process of it because I've already explained it in a previous video. I'll um, I'll add that at the end of this video so you guys can check out how to make the trading cards holographic and all that stuff from home. So here I have the transparent paper. Check this out, this is so cool. So here's a, a piece of holographic paper. <clears throat> and here is that character Right, I told you I uh, kind of manipulated this further on Photoshop. And this is how she would look on a trading card. So again, please watch that other video if you haven't. But I add white behind the character. So that way there are certain elements that don't show the holographic. So. I don't want the hollow foil to show through her. I want it to be around her. If you guys don't understand that yet, this is what I mean. Oops. It's kind of windy. Right, right there it's showing through her because there's no white behind the character. But I used an acrylic paint pen to uh, paint behind her. I think I have it here. All this stuff I'll leave in a link in the description below the video. So this is Molotov. This one I was told <clears throat> is better than the Posca marker because this one's more opaque. Opaque meaning it's more of a solid color, not so see-through. So yeah, there we go. Yes, sir. So I'm gonna cut away now, show you guys how this looks glued and all put together so gotta cut it and stuff so let's get back to it So there's the video guys. Here I have a binder full of ton of my artwork. I'll show you guys in a later video for sure. But how cool was that? We went from this pencil drawing to this illustration to taking it even further and making it a card. Shout out FedEx Kinkos, man. They're laser printers on that transparent paper is awesome. So there's that. I even made a larger version here um, that's completely see-through, different kind of holographic pattern to that. That's really sick. So that's like one print, there's another print. So just a bunch of variations that we can make with this, guys. So uh, try it for yourselves. 
you guys have any drawing skills, you know, try it out. But um, stay, stay tuned for future videos. Uh, like I said, I'll be posting twice a week. So, um, yeah, I look forward to that, guys. Drop a like down below. Put any comments down there. Share this video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.